and Brown. And Brown to come back. McDonald has been the man for Tasmania in this first half. And that comes from Majet there as well. And the steal from Majet. He is keen to make a statement. Here we it go. Two. Here we go. Red hot. Timeout, Adelaide. Majet's gone bang. And Scott Roth, the coach of the Jack Jumpers, tell his men you've got a lot of clock. And Majet gets into the paint and banks it off the window. Over the top, you see Ratan Mays going over the get getting there and just gets caught behind. And First score in the game for Wagstar. Jack Jumpers by seven. Majet found an opening where there wasn't one and helped himself to two more. Oh, man, that's a great penetration, but gets the assist on that one. It looks a lot better than he did. It's Majet. Gets that up and in. Josh Majet is a problem when he gets on the bounce. Uh, we invest in each other, and uh, it's going to be a tough one to crack because they're playing some pretty good basketball. Good on you, Clint. Thanks so much for joining us. Is Majet? Not surprising that Tyler Johnson has subbed in early in this third quarter. And here's another steal. Here we go. McVeigh. Here we go. Three guys on the bottom of the net. And that's the one if you Josh Majet. That's these little mid-range jump shot or floater that he needs to get to to try and draw a foul. Is United just keeping Tasmania around, just throwing it straight to him. Fresh legs, should we say. You think Tim Bench is wearing a sleeve? Yeah. The pass from McGraw went between his legs. Well spotted by Majet. Yes. Majet. Just hovered and kept Johnson away, and all of a sudden Tazier in front. Majet can reset. Oh, top. Trey Kell's got some issues as well. Make that 13. Majet off to White. Poorly handle any sort of full court pressure. Dribble into the worst place you'll ever want to dribble into when you're up against a team that's looking to trap. And then yet another turnover. 13 turnovers, and we've still got almost four minutes to play. First score since quarter time for Chris Golding, Majet. Exploring against Pete Link, takes him on, gets it done. Well, they're going to count the bucket, but that's going to be a foul on Krizlovic. We've only got one leading, uh, one score in the game with double figures, and that's Matt Kenyon with 11. This game is waiting for someone to break it open, as Jenna said. And Josh Majet is one who needs to get going. His first field goal. Majet on the move from a long, long, long way out. Boy, she's feeling good. 32 to 21.